Okay, so hello YouTube, my name is Vlad for iVlad.com I haven't posted video in quite a while. No, this one might be interesting because uh, I actually, well, I bought this server um, maybe a couple of months ago, maybe two or three months ago because I thought that I was I was going to be able to well, repair it and to sell it and I bought it like for 50 bucks, maybe even less, maybe 40 and I did repair it, something was wrong with the hard drive and it turned out that it was the faulty fuse nothing more nothing less and believe it or not their hard drives actually have fuses and they are marked as fuses which is awesome nowadays nothing is marked so yeah after i uh, after i uh, repaired it i tried to sell it but nobody wanted this piece of shit seriously nobody i even bought a second cpu and it cost me like maybe another 20 bucks but yet nobody wants to buy this thing so i kind of figured Fuck it, I'm not going to give it up for nothing, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, the uh, power supply that this, uh, uh, that this server has. And it actually has two of those, obviously because it's a server. And they are both 514 watts. Now let me just show you the uh, price of the uh, this uh, power supply. It's 21 pounds. So obviously, okay. If you buy two of those, it will be like 42 pounds. You can actually get uh, one kilowatt of power supply for uh, 42 pounds. So okay, so let me show you the uh, power supply itself. This is it, and it is rather dirty. Well, it is rather old, I suppose. So I do need to clean the uh, ball bearings of the fans. Well, ball bearings, bearings, whatever. Uh, and I need to oil them, and I need to clean everything, and just whether to see if all the capacitors are functioning and yeah this is the other one so this is the smallest cheapest one kilowatt power supply that you can buy anywhere and for your purpose I think this is awesome now um, for all of you that don't want to watch this video till this is very good for all of you that do not want to watch the video until this end in order for it to work you actually have to connect this so this is the third one with this one so you just have to short circuit these two and the power supply will turn on and this thing will be the output now okay I will be cleaning this one first because it is boy this is dirty well um, so yeah um, let's open it and uh, now uh, I will be actually I won't be uh, I've seen that some of the guys uh, that have this type of solutions just short circuit this thing and uh, turn this thing on now this is actually very powerful I think this is 42 amps or something like that uh, yeah 42 amps I won't definitely be short circuiting it because this thing can cause serious damage and I don't want to set my mining place on fire so let's open this thing and let's see what's inside and let's see whether I can disassemble this thing or not I sure hope I can, so I can clean it. So yeah, okay. So yeah, this is very dirty. Take a look at my hands. And all the capacitors, they actually look rather decent. But yeah, I can disassemble this and uh, change the oil or well add oil I don't think that this thing has any oil left inside I need a better screwdriver than this this is actually a good screwdriver but not for these types of screws okay this is actually rather noisy just by just by hearing it spin Okay, I will be disconnecting this and I will be cleaning it and cleaning my hands. So, that didn't work. My hands are not clean, but get a load of this. Now, I actually did clean this with my DataVac duster. This device is awesome. Again, not sponsored by them or anything, but that thing actually works. So, yeah, as you can see, this is beautiful. Now, I need to clean the other one and well this little fan so I actually did wash my hands but I do need to clean my workbench because this looks like something that came out of Chernobyl seriously 
Just let me show you how dirty, dirty this thing actually is. Okay, so maybe not the cleanest, but yeah, definitely a okay. Now the last thing I need to do before I well solder everything and test it is to uh, clean the well fan, which I placed somewhere, and I have no clue where. So the fan is here and I will be using a bit of Nuola because I have no idea where my other cleaning fluid is. But yeah, as you can see this is actually rather dirty. So let's see if I can do this the easy way. And yeah, this is actually a real ball bearing. But it kind of makes sense, because this is a, well, server um, equipment. Now just to find a teeny mini bit of oil. You know what, I'll, I'll connect this thing and uh, uh, my, better, my camera battery is empty, but never mind. I will connect this thing, because now I, I'm not quite sure whether you know or not, but these fans, they always tend to spin whether the uh, supply is active or not. So let's see. Okay, now let's add a drop of oil and as you can see it's spinning quite a lot actually. Oh yeah, that thing is thirsty. It's already more quiet. And just to show you how actually strong this thing is actually blowing, this is its lower setting, so it will blow only harder when it's turned on. So I'll be putting everything back together and disassembling and cleaning this one. Okay, so the second one is dirty, but it's not that dirty. So I'm assuming that this one did not work that much. Okay, I will be um, cleaning this one, adding oil as well, and well, uh, reassembling it. And then we'll be, well, connecting it and wiring it. So let's try the other supply and just hear how loud this fan actually is. Eh, this one is actually, I believe, a bit more quieter, but I will be adding a couple of drops as well. Oh yeah, and by the way, just take a look at how <laughs> strong this capacitor is. Awesome. I've put everything back together and they're okay, not as good as new because well, my hands are dirty, but they are awesome and they are working perfectly. Now, what I will be doing is, okay, first I will be testing whether this theory is actually correct or not. And I will be soldering some wires. So, as I've stated before, we need to solder this wire to this wire. So, first of all, let's solder this thing. Okay, awesome. Let's see whether I can solder this thing. Okay, this is good. I think so. Okay. I think this should do it, but you never know. Seriously. Like I've never soldered. Oh well. Okay, and that's pretty much it, I think. Now this thing is on. Now if I shorten this too, this fan should get louder. Or explode. So, 
So we have a lift off. Now let's test if uh, this thing actually works. Okay. Not quite sure which wire is which, so let's see. Zero volts. 12 volts, and this should be 5 volts, not 12 volts. 12 volts, 12 volts. So these two are ground, and these two are uh, 12 volts. Oh, yeah, and that thing you hear is actually the oil. That noise will stop. So there should be zero between these two. Okay. So these two are ground, and these two are. Uh, pluses. Now the next thing I will be doing is actually soldering because I actually have a lot of connectors as you can see and I will be soldering them. Oh yeah and before I do that actually I will be insulating these two wires with this uh, heat shrink. So some heat shrink later. I don't want it to short circuit anything because when I was testing the pinout I kind of did short circuit it a bit but the protection within this thing is actually awesome so it's idiot proof I suppose okay that is nice as you can see this actually looks cool I will be using a zip tie and connecting it to the uh, relay which I will be placing in here. So one jump cut later I have successfully removed the uh, well uh, this thing and I will be trying to uh, well let's see what I will be trying to do I'm not quite sure okay I'll, I'll still need heat shrink definitely now let me just show you the idea. So this is the relay and uh, I will be actually showing you what is behind the idea of the relay. Now again some people just short circuit it and I guess it's fine but it's not something I would prefer to do because again this thing has a lot of amps and uh, well, a lot of amps can start fire quite easily, and fire is a big no-no in my case. So I believe I'm actually connecting it as it should be connected. Okay. So let's solder this thing. And let's see whether this thing actually works or not. My soldering iron is still at 450 degrees, but hey, who cares? Who cares? I will be decreasing it to uh, 400. 400 is just fine. Now let's put the heat shrink on. Because as I said, heat shrink is awesome. Okay, now that I've done this, I'm going to show you. So, I will be using this thing with my secondary power supply. So, the one that will be connected to motherboard, and this one will be connected only to GPUs. So, um, let's turn this thing on and let me show you what's behind the idea. Okay, so if I give power to this relay, it will short circuit these two wires and these two wires that go there will turn the uh, power supply on so I will be sticking it I'll be gluing it somehow I'm not quite sure how like this 
and this thing so these two wires will be going to my main power supply and I will be connecting outputs to these um, connectors so some soldering later this is actually the way this thing looks and I must say it's not too bad now we'll be insulating this thing with maybe some kind of plastic or something I'm not quite sure just in order for this thing not to touch but yeah and uh, I will be doing the, uh, this one as a second power supply so there you have it this is pretty much insulated pretty much and one thing I wanted to do is to see whether this thing has some kind of short circuit protection now bear in mind this thing will either explode or turn off and I hope to god it will turn off now the reason I'm afraid is because I have this now this is something you should know and I'm testing it for you, well for me as well I don't want everything to burn down and this is 42 amps so okay maybe I should have just let, let's say one wire for testing purpose not every single wire because that might be a bad idea Will this thing turn off? Nope, it did not turn off. In fact, it didn't even react. And that is something I kind of dislike. So, no short, short circuit protection. Well, ain't that a bundle of joy? Yep. This thing does not have a short circuit protection, so if this thing um, starts burning, it will, uh, well, continue burning. Well, there you have it. It is the cheapest um, power supply. And again, this is one kilowatt. So I will be placing some kind of uh, plastic in between 12 volts and 5 volts. Now bear in mind this thing will not move, definitely. But yeah, it's not something I would uh, well, highly recommend on leaving like this. So that is pretty much it from me. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please ask. If you like, like. If you dislike, dislike. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my other channel, which has like 9 subscribers. Thank you all. Um, yeah. Bye-bye. Um,